So you're probably all now cooling out after going crazy with the last lesson. Letting your fingers go crazy, working on your growling, trills, and pitch bends. Now it's time to get back on the mainstream path so we can get our standard saxophone playing together. This next lesson will deal with articulation and the different kinds of articulation. Now I think in the past I already mentioned what articulation is. It's how you tongue the notes, how you go from one note to the next, how we enunciate our notes. There are several different ways you can enunciate the notes, using your tongue or lack of using your tongue. The first one I will talk about and teach you is the, probably the easiest. And it's one that you might have already been doing before we even talked about tonguing. It's called slurring. So again, your airstream will continue to go through the saxophone. It doesn't stop. Your airstream never stops. But this time, you're not going to use the tongue when you change notes. So for example, I will play a scale. I'll just take the first five notes that you already learned. And, and you can hear me slurring those notes in quarter notes. So here it goes. One, two, three, four. <laughs> So now those first five notes there, I didn't tongue, I didn't do anything except for blow and move my fingers. Make sure I play the notes correctly and blow and get my air flowing through the saxophone. I didn't stop my air with anything, I just kept blowing. And that's called slurring. And you can slur, do all kinds of things with slurring. A lot of music you play slurs. <laughs> So that was playing some notes slurred. Now the next kind of note, articulation, I should say, that we're going to work on is called legato tonguing. You're going to use the tongue now, but legato means smooth. It's kind of almost like slurring, but we're lightly using the tongue. And the way I was taught to do this was by saying the word D, the, the, the letter D. Just think D as you tongue, D. It softens your tongue up a little bit. Instead of thinking two, which is a harder tongue, you think duh as you play. So let's try that on our first five notes slowly. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Now to demonstrate it just on one note, I'll do that, just on the G. It's a full note with a smooth tongue. Now going back to slurring, if I try to do that on one note, it doesn't work. It's just one long note. For example, if I try to slur a G. Just one long note. So I have to do something if I want to change the rhythm on one note. The next one is called staccato. Now this is when we really use a pointed tongue. We really go back to the T tongue, the two. But we're going to actually use the tongue much more sharply and use our air in a sharper way so that we can separate those notes. We want them short and, and separated between the notes. For example, I'll do this now. That's the sound of staccato. Very pointed, very broken up. The notes have space between them. They're broken by the tongue. You use the tongue to break the notes. Now the last articulation that we'll talk about, this is also a common articulation, is an accent. An accent is when you attack the note with your tongue, similar to how you attack the note when you play staccato, but you give it a little bit more strength in the beginning of the note and you let it decay and you don't cut it off, there's no cutoff between notes. 
So for example, So we want to give it a little attack in the beginning, punch of the beginning of the note. So that would be accent. So when you're playing music, you usually don't just play one of those things. You play all kinds of articulations throughout the music. And let me just demonstrate a little piece of music. I'll do a little improvisation on something. And you can hear me using quite a few different types of articulation. Some slur, some legato, some staccato, and some accents. <laughs> And that's articulation.